Alright there pal, my name is Steven, also known as the Effin Scotsman, and welcome to the third part of Final Fantasy VIII. The third of many, I should add. Oh boy. Anyway, from where we last left off, we sort of took a little stroll on the beach with Quistus, held hands together, and fight monsters, obviously. Oh, um, we got a big fire god, because that's exactly what you do in dates. I know. Anyway, I'm going to show you something. Squall's a bit on the... Oh sorry, Zack's a little bit on the dead side. Why is this? Uh, I'll show you in a second. But, there's also another thing. So, I, I might only have 98 sleeps with Quistus, but we'll draw the next two in the next battle. And we've got 100 blizzards and... Squall doesn't have anything junction right now. Because, we're going to level some stuff up with Quistus, but without Squall. Because, we want to keep him, as I said in the last episode, we want to keep him at level 7. As for Quistus, I don't mind what level she goes up to because in the end we're not I'm I'm just gonna say this now, we're not really gonna use her. We're gonna be using some other characters, I'm not the biggest fan of her in battle, but my my mind might change, I might I might decide to go with her later, but we'll see. But anyway, so Ifrit, I forgot to show us earlier on, Ifrit has strength junction already to start with, so look, it goes from nineteen to in this case, 29. This is the highest we can get it right at this second. So we'll junction that. As for magic, uh, sleep. So once we get another two sleeps, she might go up to 18 instead. And therefore we can draw more magic, more at once, stuff like that. But that's for like more advanced magic in this, in this point in time. Because we've got basically what we need as we speak. But it's always good to have. And we'll just might as well just junction fire to spirit. Scan, I'm not going to get 100 of those, because honestly, it's, there's no really much point. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll also, before I forget, I set effort to learn strength plus 20%. This is a game changer, especially if you get it right at the beginning. Remember we got 20 uh, experience points, or sorry, ability points from effort. Well, we're 10 away from learning ice magic, and 40, oh, sorry, 20 away from learning card. I actually forgot to mention what card does. So, because we're going to do a low level game, obviously we can't kill enemies because we'll get the XP for it, especially if we're playing as Zack. What I can do instead is card the enemy. This turns them into playing cards and I can use those, uh, I can use this ability, sorry, to kill, to quote unquote kill enemies but I won't get any experience for it but I will get ability points. This is going to be huge in the early game so we absolutely 100% need this uh, ability for us. So we could do this low level game in the future, for future runs I mean. So next time I'm going to show, remember those little fish fucks? We're going to fight them again. Only this time because Quistus is here, with some strength in her, we're going to just fight them with heart only. And we get a good chunk of um, ability points from them and I'll show you. I'll show this one battle and future battles are just going to be basically edited out. Right, so let's hit one. That should raise it up from the sand. Or not. That's cool too. In fact, I need to get more sleeps because I just need two more. Cool. Now we've maxed out our sleeps. And he's out the sand. Good. So yeah, I'm leaving Squall dead for now because that means he doesn't get any XP. But because we've got everything junction to Quistus, they'll get the ability. The GFs there will get the ability points. So that's pretty handy. Ideally what we want to do is get strength plus 20 to start off with. Also, um, there's certain abilities that are tiered and strength is one of them actually. It's like, we can get strength plus 20 right now, once we learn that we'll get strength plus 40 and then I think it's exclusive to Ifrit but we can get strength plus 60 as well. Which is absolutely neat and we do want that. But we'll get that at a later point because what we really want to do is get to at least plus 20. Oh, I had the limit break, I didn't realise. Oops. What's this limit break uh, laser eye actually is pretty damn handy, especially against these things because it does maximum damage to them when they're under the sand. And now that we're in uh, yellow health, we'll definitely get it. So let's use it. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this, but Quiz is a blue magic user as well. Look at the damage, that's insane damage.
Hey, battle one. On to the next one. But not before we show this. Right, so Questus receives 124 points. Squall receives nothing because he's obviously dead, which is a good thing. So this is what I'm actually mostly after. Fish fins. Because these refine of Shiva's ice magic refinery into water. Water is a game breaker. I know I said that twice now, but honestly, you'll see in about on on your end a couple of minutes on my end about two years at this rate. But look at the X, uh, not the XP, the AP that we get. We get six AP, so one more battle, and we've got ice magic refinery, and a few more, and we'll get card, and then a few more after that, we'll get strength. So obviously, what I'm going to do is do this off screen or off camera rather, so you don't need to sit and trudge through this. So. I shall join you within the next second, I guess. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back for just a little minute. Just want to show something. Uh, GF. Pikachu. Look, we learned card. Sweet. Now we need to learn this. This is also quite important. Because we can get some really damn powerful items just from getting uh, playing cards. Pretty neat, so we'll definitely be getting that. Uh, she was learning strength junction and if it's almost halfway to learning uh, strength plus 20. But there is another thing we need to do. We've got enough fish fins to do this. One, we'll find into 20 waters. That's a lot of waters for one. So we'll give Quistus 100, 100 waters. Now we're going to junction that. So keep in mind. Her base damage is 29, uh, her, her base damage is 19, sorry. With Blizzard, it's 29. With Water, it's 39. Not the biggest increase, but trust me, it's a huge step up. In fact, Squall will be our main attacker from, basically from when we start the game properly. He'll have strength plus 20, plus 40, with Water to start off with. He's going to be a powerhouse. It's going to be glorious as hell. So yeah, back to the grind, BRB. Alrighty then, so, yeah, so after all that, I've done my thing, and guess what, everything was a success, aha, got you there, didn't I? So, let's take a look at what we've got, so, we're almost halfway through level in card mod, but we'll get that at a later point, it's not exactly the most needed thing right now, um, oops, and we currently learned strength junction, now we're on to elemental attack junction, with Shiva. And we got strength plus 20, now we're going to get strength plus 40. So we've made a start now already. So hopefully we'll get this. I would, I would exactly say soon, but we'll get it before Elm attack jun uh, junction anyway, so how's that? So what we're going to do now is... Well, we were going to go back to school, but you know what? Let's bunk off that a little bit longer. Let's go, let's go and see the sights. Let, let's go and see the little seaside town of Balan. Because why not? I'll let the music sort of play out because it's very pleasant here. Very pleasant and calm. I really like it. It's so chill. There's, pe there's like people sitting about, people playing, little kids playing. What's this? Oh yeah, thunder. Do we need thunder? You know what? Nah. Also, before we go any further, I probably should rejunction squall up. So we'll give card to Quistus. Oops. And we'll give effort back to Squall, so he's got damage. And oh yeah, 37. But that's not that's not all. Ability, and it will do the usual. We've got this now. So now we do 44 damage. Not exactly the biggest step up, but honestly, when we get further in the game, it'll make a lot more sense. Especially Concern that if we use a rental cooking, it's going to do a lot of damage. For what five strikes would do like two, three hundred damage or something? It's great, it's so good. Anyway, let's take a wee look about. There's a little shop here. Hello to you as well. So, this is the junk shop, i.e., the weapon shop. We can get weapon upgrades here or downgrades if you want to challenge yourself, but we'll not really need to bother with that anytime soon. In fact, you collect these little magazines that tell you the that tell you the ingredients, the parts, shall we say, that you need to actually craft weapons. But here's a little pro tip: if you actually have the items that you need, you don't need the magazine. 
Now, if you just go to a shop and remodel your weapon, there you go. Instant weapon. So there's a couple of houses here we can visit. Let's go in the first one up here. It's got a guy sitting with his cat, a little TV in the back there. Let's see what got to say. Ah. Here's another reason why his hands are shaking, he's been wanking too much. It's pretty obvious. Anyway, next house. Oh, there's a little person just cooking in there. Hello to you. You rowdy boy? I have not seen any rowdy boys. Oh, that does sound quite wrong. Okay, don't know who Zell is, but... Eh. I bet, I bet it's no one important. There's a little computer here. Is that in it? Can we play games? Oh, maybe not. What's in this next room? Right. It looks like a living room of some sort. No chairs, though. There's a distinct lack of chairs. Alright, nothing of interest here except for that guitar. I highly approve. Turns out they do have guitars in the future. Well, modern day future. Future punk. There you go, how's about that? We'll go to the left here. There's a little gift shop. And who's this person? The Queen of Cars. I travel all over the world. I want to know absolutely nothing. Actually, it's probably, it's probably a good thing to read about the rules and whatnot. Because later on in the game, there's more rules that get added to Triple Triad. And it gets really, really chaotic at times. And you, there's this one rule that you do not want, which is the random rule. That you can just get to. There's no other way, there's no other way of putting it. It needs to get to. Everything else, fine. Maybe except for the plus rule, but even I don't know how that works, so I can't really explain it. This little building here is a hotel, around the corner, and I'm pretty sure that guy's smoking in front of that little kid. It's obviously set in a role model right there. And around here is the docks. Nothing much goes on here, so... In fact, there is something we can do here. It's nothing too major, but eh, we might as well get it. Do you know what's happening? Do you notice a little draw point at the bottom there? Cure. Sweet. I forgot that was cure actually. It's been a while. 14 cures. Not too shabby. Now if we had HP junction, which we don't actually, we can add those cures to our HP and increase our overall health just a little smidgen. But if we had 100 cures, it would probably go up to about, I would say about 800, 900, something like that. It's nothing too major. In fact, it might not even be that, it might be 600. But let's not dwindle any further, let's go back to school. I think we've bunked off enough as it is. So one little tidbit about this game, I should add, is that you can actually rent cars in this game. But for this, for this continent, we don't need a car, because there's only one place we can get to from here, and that's, just, that's the actual garden itself. Not counting the fire cavern, of course, but we can very easily walk it. I mean, it's what, it's what, 15 second journey, if that? I'll just fast forward for this bit and I'll see you back at the garden. Alright, so here we are. Sorted. Mission success. Right, Quizzes? Yep, well done. Don't worry, Quizzes, we've already got that covered. I've well explained this before. Change into your uniform? I thought this was my uniform. Oh no. So we need to go back to the dormitory, change into uniform, and then head back to the, the first floor lobby. Easy, easy enough. Oh yeah, this is secure as well. So we can add that to our little stack of 14. Only 5. Oh, not coming back to you, Mr. Drawpoint. How do you like that? Cheeky get. Oh, it's kind of spazzing out there a wee bit. Hello, you. Can we talk to you? Yes. Maybe we should. Go and say hi to your mum. Give her a hug. Because you're nice like that. And maybe do something with your dad as well. In fact, do something with your whole family. Be nice.
See, I might be a bit of a bastard at times, me and Squall, that is, but we're always caring in the heart. So yeah, there is one thing we should do. See that, that little kid running around? He does laps of the of the school. So what we're going to do is save the game right now. And we're going to play cards with him. But we're going to leave that for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like what you've seen, please consider hit that like button. Or don't if you prefer. Right, and see you next time.